In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this very simple and awesome looking cinematic title animation inside of DaVinci Resolve 16 without using any third party plugins. So I am Vikash for SkylineMotions.com and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so we have to do some basic setting first. So click on this setting button and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080 and let's go with any frame rate. So in this case, I am going with 60 frame per second and I'm going to set this playback frame rate equal to this timeline frame rate. So set this value 60 and click on save. And now let's create this cinematic title animation inside of this fusion page. So we have to take a new fusion composition. So just go to this media pool, right click on that and click on this new fusion composition. And let's call it title 01. And set the duration of this composition something around three seconds long, which is good enough for one text. And click on create. And just drag this fusion composition on this timeline, just like that. And then go to your fusion page and here we have media out node so just drag this media out to the side for now and let's start by creating a text node so click on this T button and add a text node and just drag this text to the viewer and let's type a text whatever you want to type and select your favorite font style so in this case I am using century gothic font style which is my favorite font style and of course you can choose any different font style that you want and I'm gonna set this regular and set the size of this font something around 0.15 hit enter and I'm gonna set this tracking value 1.05 maybe and hit enter and now I want to animate this tracking amount. So just go to the end of this animation and right click on tracking, click on animate, or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe and go to very beginning of this animation and set this tracking value something around 0.95. And as you can see, we get this type of animation. All right. And now I want to animate the opacity of this text character wise. So for that, I'm going to use a modifier. So right click on this a styled text and I'm going to use this follower modifier and just go to this modifier and inside of this modifier, we have a setting tab. So just go to this setting tab and we get this opacity parameter over here. So this go to on frame number 60, which is equal to one second and right click on opacity click on animate and uh, go to very beginning of this animation and set this opacity zero and we get this very simple opacity animation so just go to this timing tab and here we have delay so let's create a time delay of uh, five frame maybe and we get this type of animation as you can see and now change this order random but one by one and once you have done this we get this type of very interesting animation as you can see and then go to the end of this animation hold control and scroll up to zoom in and set it like this and now i want to convert this flat 2d text into a metallic text so for that i'm going to use a reflection map so just go to media pool right click on that and click on import media and for reflection map, I'm going to use this image that I have given a link in the description. So just go to the link and download this reflection map or you can also use any different reflection map instead of that and click on open. And just drag this reflection map on this flow window and close this media pool and hit F2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it reflection map. Hit OK and select this text and as you can see there is no any point to connect this reflection map with the text so what we have to do just select this text and go to this tool section and go to this setting and change this type solid to image and now we have a point to connect this reflection map so connect this point with this reflection map and we get this type of effect as you can see 
and now let's do some adjustment with this so select this text one and just go to this setting tab and set this mapping size something around 2.0 and set this mapping aspect 0.5 hit enter and as you can see it's looking much more better and after that right click on this flow window go to arrange tool and turn on this grid snapping that will helps you to keep this node clean and organized okay and now i want to create a smooth transition for the text so for that i'm going to use a fast noise node so hit ctrl plus the space bar for search box and search for fast noise select this fast noise click on add button and now click on this double viewer and drag this fast noise node into this viewer one and now let's do some adjustment so select this fast noise and go to this inspector window and set this detailed something around 10 and set this contrast 5 and uh, now let's animate this seat value so just go to the end of this animation and set the seat value 0 and click on this diamond button to create a keyframe on seat parameter and go to very beginning of this animation and set the seat value 1 and hit enter and we get this type of uh, animation and now i want to use this fast noise as a mat for this text so we have to take a new merge node so click on this merge button and add a merge node and now i want to place this text inside of this white section only so i'm going to use this fast noise as a background and this text output as a foreground so connect this background point with this fast noise and clean foreground point with this text one and drag this merge one to the viewer and select this merge one and just go to this inspector window and change this operator over to in and now we get this type of output which is looking much more interesting and now we have two outputs here the first one is looking like this with transition and the second one is our complete text as you can see so i'm going to merge both the output so we have to take a new merge and i'm going to use this output as a background and this one as a foreground so connect this yellow point with this merge one and connect this green foreground point with the output of this text one and now just drag this merge two to the viewer and select this merge and i'm going to animate this blend value so just go to the end of this animation and uh, set this blend value 1 and click on this diamond button to create a keyframe and go back on frame number 120 which is equal to 2 second and set this blend value 0 all right and now click on this single viewer and just drag this merge 2 to the viewer and we get this type of uh, output which is looking much more interesting all right and now let's attach a background so just go to media pool right click on that click on import media and for the background i'm going to use this video clip that i have downloaded from pixabay.com and i will provide a link in the description so just go to the link and download this video clip and click on open and just drag this video clip on this flow window hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it bz for background hit ok and now this is our background and this one is our foreground so i'm gonna connect the output of this foreground with the background and we get this new merge so just drag this merge 3 to the viewer and close this media pool and now let's create a camera focus kind of uh, effect so for that i'm going to use a gaussian blur effect so hit ctrl plus the space bar for search box and search for gaussian blur select this hit add button and connect the output of this merge 3 with this Gaussian blur and drag this Gaussian blur to the viewer and now let's subtract this part so for that I'm going to use a ellipse mask so just drag it like this and connect this ellipse mask with this Gaussian blur and let's create a shape just like that all right and check this option invert and set this soft edge something around 0.2 
and after that let's create a seamless transition for the text so for that i'm going to use a transform node so just drag this transform on this flow window and connect this output with this transform and just drag this transform one to the viewer and just go to on frame number 30 which is equal to half a second and let's animate this center so right click on center click on animate and go to very beginning of this animation and just drag this frame outside of this box just like that and then go to on frame number 150 which is equal to two and a half second and click on this button and add one more keyframe on 150 and lock this value as it is and go to the end of this animation and uh, just drag this frame outside of this box just like that all right and we get this type of animation and now i'm gonna fill this blank area so for that select this transform and just go to this inspector window and change this as a canvas to mirror and we get this type of output and now let's fix this black line so just select this Gaussian blur and change this border type black to reflect or black to replicate all right and it's looking nice and now just go to spline window and hit f4 on the keyboard to full screen and as you all know we have a basic animation right now so let's create a smooth animation so let's minimize all these node and check this transform one only and click on fit button and select all these keyframe hit s to smooth and set the cti at the very beginning of this animation and hold this point and just create a graph just like that and hold this point also and just set it like this and just go to the end of this animation over here and hold this point and create a graph just like that and hold this point also and just set it like this and create a nice a smooth curve just like that and close this spline window and after that let's create one more effect so hit control plus a space bar for search box and search for directional blur hit add button attach this final output with this directional blur and drag this directional blur to the viewer and now just go to on frame number 30 which is equal to half a second and let's animate this length value so right click on length click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button and go to very beginning of this animation and just set this length value negative 0.1 and go to on frame number 150 which is equal to two and a half second and add one more keyframe and lock this value as it is and go to the end of this animation and set this length value 0.1 and now i'm gonna set this angle value 90 degree hit enter and finally we have to connect this media out node with this final output just like that and then go to your edit tab and here we have to create a cinematic aspect ratio so just go to timeline and go to output blanking and click on this 2.35 and we get this type of output which is looking much more better and now if you want to create multiple text then select this fusion comp hit ctrl c to copy and paste multiple time on the timeline so hit ctrl v to paste just like that and place the cti over on this second fusion composition and go to on fusion page and just select this text and change the text that you want just like that and then go to your edit tab and as you can see our text animation is ready for render so just go to very beginning of this animation and turn on loop button and let's have a look all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial Till then, bye-bye.